So I'm at, uh, what's the name of this hostel? Damn, I forgot. Uh, Dutchie's Hostel, baby. It's a giant boy's playhouse. Like, I was in the kitchen. There was this guy talking about something. I'm going to go meet up with this young black girl. I was like, no need to be specific, but okay. While I was in the kitchen. And then somebody else making comments about flat asses on women while I was in the kitchen. And it's like, y'all need attention so bad. Y'all want to be noticed so bad. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I got the room to myself. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish a travel vlog, the voiceovers, so I can feel accomplished before I head to the airport tomorrow. And literally, somebody's outside yelling. Like, I get the whole room to myself after people have been stanking and sweating it up and being just inconsiderate, snoring, whatever. I mean, I know you can't help snoring, but still. Anyways, and then people outside literally just hollering, like, what the fuck is going on? The simulation is toying with me. And it's a Wednesday. Like, why are y'all this turned? The snoring is so miserable, bro. It's so miserable. And then there's one dude who randomly, he's snoring too. It's like three people snoring. But there's one dude who will wake up and sigh really loudly as if he himself is not snoring when the other guy snores too loud. I can't make this up. So it's like two, three in the morning. I'm trying to pull an all-nighter, but I'm so tired. You know how you have a trip, you try to pull an all-nighter, and the last minute you want to sleep, and you wake up cranky. I'm trying to figure out if I need to sleep or just push it. My flight's at, like, noon, apparently. It's me sitting on the toilet. The lid's on, don't worry. Editing a 30-minute travel vlog because I'd rather be anywhere else than in the room. <laughs> And it's quiet enough here. The farting is wild. I feel like I'm in Shrek Swamp. So I have a copy saved, but I just woke up and all the recording I did, all those nice little voice recordings I did for a travel video on my travel channel, they're gone. The video is still there, but the recordings didn't save. I don't know why, I had space on my phone. So I'm waking up thinking, oh my gosh, I'm about to post this travel vlog before I get on a flight. Feel real good about myself. It corrupted or something. It's still there, but it erased all my little commentary. So I'm gonna have to wait till I get home to redo it. Anyways, I'm about to get ready to catch my flight. I'm taking a ride to the Slaughter Dyke station and then taking a train to the airport. It's just cheaper versus like paying 30 euros straight to the airport with ride share. So I'm like around the corner from the station. Hey y'all, uh, what's up? Ooh, that's the, um, that's actually the little, the side of it. I'm about to, hold on. I really be in Amsterdam too much because I didn't see the city center not once. <laughs> like, y'all. Anyways, I'm walking this little day because I have time on my hands. I do, I have like four hours before I have to be at the airport, so might as well. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush to get there. Uh, I will be minding my business when you see this vlog pick back up. Like I said, I'll show you some like little snippets of some fun stuff I do. But aside from that, no, nah, I might not even show y'all anything. I might just show y'all the next vacation. <laughs> Ooh, honestly, it would have been a really like therapeutic, peaceful time, taking two days to like edit and chill. But I was in Shrek Swamp, literally. I <laughs> Yeah, last night, the dude that was snoring at loudest started farting. I was like, there's no fucking way. I was like, you chose both. That's such a bold decision. Like, you're farting now? Like, he would alternate. He'd be like, <sighs> like snoring. And then all of a sudden, he'd be like, <clears throat> I'm like, 
Bro, no fucking way. Be fucking for real. So yeah, we outside, all these bikes and <laughs> everybody is just out getting ready for the day. I'm gonna be grateful for the events that we had. I'm gonna brace myself for impact when I go home. Last time I went home, my skin broke out. People was acting mad funny. <laughs> uh, whole bunch of stuff, but it's okay, I'm ready for it. And I'm about to take the next, I'd say month to work. Really, really hard, do everything I need to do. Make my final like, Y'all cut my final ties for real. And then yeah, we'll see what happens after that. But I'll talk to y'all.